thank you very much, um, our, um, our um, amazing MC. I think when I was sitting there, I thought my task was going to be very easy. But now I'm challenged by the speech <laughs> of uh, Professor Beatrice. I think it, it, she challenged us, everyone here in this room. I think this is something I want to really, uh, I will try to come back to those uh, uh, good messages and call for action that you really put it very well out for all of us. Um, but probably I think uh, we'll have the opportunity to have some sessions uh, during the two days uh, conference to also hear what the government of Rwanda and MOH with my colleague who is sitting there on what are we planning for, 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 for the health of women. Again, um, on behalf of uh, the Minister of Health, who could not be uh, with us uh, at this time due to other key priorities also, which I think is also something we are also trying to, to address. I think today we had many conferences um, in, on very important uh, topics on biomanufacturing. This is also something that Africa is also trying to, to really localize all those um, medicines and tools and vaccines so that we also have all the tools to, al to allow this holistic uh, approach to, uh, to address the health of our men, women. So I think the uh, uh, RSOG presidents, all our partners, uh, WHO, USID, uh, UNFPA, CDC and other partners who are with us in this room, and also their colleagues, uh, doctors, colleagues, um, um, nurses, midwives, and also all uh, other professional organizations, colleagues, but also the Medical Council and also Nurses Council. I think I'm really uh, glad to be here with you on behalf of the Minister of Health uh, to really deliver uh, their message uh, to you as professionals uh, during these two days. Uh, I think uh, it's very important. I think my, all of the colleagues are really have come back to the, some of the achievement that uh, Rwanda has meant uh, with you. Uh, and there's, those are that's some of the achievement that um, have been there since uh, for, for three decades now. And I think we have really made a lot of achievements and improvement of our health outcomes, particularly for women, where we have really come uh, to reduce uh, the maternal death from more than thousands by 100,000 uh, births to today, uh, 203 uh, deaths. Um, and also, we have also been able to really address or to really improve some other indicators uh, uh, across the board. And for example, uh, we have known that we have been able to really increase the use of any contraceptive methods uh, among women uh, aged between uh, 15 and 49 years, where we have really moved to 30, 13 percentages to 64 percentage uh, as of today. Um, I think doing that, I think it was very easy to make that um, uh, gain because you have moved from very high burden or high rate of mortality to a level where it requires a lot of effort. But again, this achievement has been a result of many factors. One is that um, I think we owe this um, achievement uh, to the great leadership, which I think is seen in this country where uh, the government of Rwanda under the leadership of His Excellency President of Rwanda, uh, Paul Kagame, where we have, uh, we have taken over considered health issues as a priority. And if you can see in all our strategic documents and guidelines, I think we really know that um, aspect of maternal health, for example, uh, and my colleagues have really come back to that where we have uh, some priorities to really make sure that we really increase access uh, to healthcare and also improve the healthcare for women, which I think is also coming back in all our documents, our key documents, especially the NST2 document. And also, apart from that uh, great leadership, we also do have uh, a dedication from our health 
uh, workforce, which I think is something uh, you are part of that uh, as a gynecologist and also other healthcare professionals. I think this is something we really want to thank you very much and appreciate the dedication and the commitment that you are putting out there to really make sure that you are with the government, the MOH, to continue to make those um, uh, impact. Again, uh, since this organization was uh, established, I think uh, Rwanda Society for Obstetricians and Gynecologists uh, have, has been at the forefront of uh, improving women's um, health. And in collaboration with uh, Ministry of Health and also other organizations, I think this society is, has been able to play a pivotal role in advancing some of our key policies and also supporting RBC in implementing many programs to improve the health of women and also ensuring that we have that standard that we need to really uh, continue to make improvement in our health indicators and outcome. Again, we have mentioned about uh, our other vision that we are focusing on today around um, four by four or how do we increase uh, or empower our workforce. I think uh, aligning with the team of today, which is around how do we empower health workforce to really drive progress uh, in women's health. This is really something, a team that come at the right time. And I hope that uh, during the two days, uh, this is something we're going to focus on, on particularly making sure that this program or vision of four by four is really something is, is going to be reflected in all our decisions, but also in the resolutions that is going to be taken during these two days uh, meetings. Again, this four by four model uh, is uh, particularly uh, a demonstration on how strategic frameworks can revolutionize healthcare delivery. And you as professionals, uh, you are going to really play a vital role not only in patient care, but also, as you mentioned several times, in teaching of the next generations. How do we uh, really revisiting, uh, how are we really adjusting our teaching model and, and curriculum to make sure that we are addressing the current uh, challenges that we are facing in terms of uh, that holistic approach uh, to prepare the next generations to be able to face and, and be really happy uh, to really be uh, facing those challenges we are facing today. Again, I also want to mention the recent, recent uh, launch program, which I think the president of RSO mentions about how do we also use the society uh, to really make sure that we bring uh, that teaching and that innovative approach uh, to the workplace and to make sure that we bridge education with the service delivery and also making sure that we, at the same time, improve or enhance uh, the quality of care that we deliver at those teaching hospitals. And I was very glad to see the pool of um, uh, doctors, uh, which I think is a very strong, uh, very strong um, evidence that Rwanda in this model, we are also taking forward these South-to-South -South collaborations where we really make sure that we have this teaching and also knowledge exchange which I think we are going to bring forward to really involve and make more exchanges with our uh, African countries where we also have to sh share with them the model but also learn from their experiences in, in addressing those challenges in teaching and also in, in knowledge um, um, transfer. Again, we want, we hope to, make sure to, to want to make sure that this model for South to South collaborations bring in other evidences of what we have as capacity to address those unique challenges in our women's health. This is again a reminder that no single entity can drive progress alone. We need to make sure that we have to take all those um, challenges together and work together to address those uh, challenges. Again, my request or call for action for, for this conference, I think, is really to make sure that as we move forward, Let's make sure that we really adopt uh, a collective or holistic approach to everything that is needed. It's either education and also healthcare uh, services, but make sure that we really have the learners uh, at the center of what we provide as a teaching. And let's also continue to really prioritize the needs of our patients 
by ensuring that we have the all necessary needs and skills to make sure that we have this empathy uh, that is there to make sure that we really uh, have that empathy in whatever we do and also have this patient-centered approach of care that we think is going to be the core of our practices. And then to our healthcare providers, I think now that um, we take all those requests from these rooms and they're also looking forward to receive all those recommendations which I think the government of Rwanda through the Minister of Health is going to continue to support you in every step uh, on the way as we are working together to improve the health of women. I also want also to, as I conclude, I also want to really make sure that I want to acknowledge uh, the contributions of our partners who are present in this room uh, in the way they are really committed to really continue to support us. So those are, for example, those professional societies. I've seen some of them here also in the room. Uh, academic institutions uh, are also very key, like University of Rwanda, UGHE, and also other hospitals and foundations which are really working towards uh, supporting uh, Rwanda in our visions and our strategies. Thanks to also WHO, UNFPA, and USDA for really supporting also all those four by four programs, but also other uh, interventions uh, as we are working together to improve the health of women. I think your support is going to be very instrumental as we continue to lower uh, the, the, the death, maternal death, but also making sure that we have no death uh, as we do uh, provide our care. I think with that, I don't want to take much of your time. I know that I'm standing between this uh, opening and also the dinner and also the cocktail, but let me make sure that I'm pleased uh, to be uh, here and I'm honored to officially declare the 10th um, RSOG Scientific Conference open. And I hope that we are going to really have a very productive uh, discussions Let's have this platform, as uh, the previous speakers mentioned, to really have this platform uh, to discuss on those key uh, challenges uh, that we are facing 